Hello everybody and welcome back uh, to another video about Pro Engineer. Uh, today I'm going to talk about uh, the second uh, main part of the airplane here which is the wing to fuselage interface right here. Uh, so you can see my wings coming in and meeting this sort of boxy structure here. If you look at a lot of the airplanes, uh, commercial especially, uh, you'll notice that they have this weird box shape here. Um, it's not weird, it has a purpose. Uh, it holds the landing gear and it also gives you a little bit more structural stability and a vertical interface here for your wings. Uh, and the vertical makes it easier to do things too. So let's go about and talk about how we do this. So what I've done there is I've just cut out a little bit of it and I'm going to use this cut to show you how I go about doing this. So there I've only gone about halfway. You notice that I have this large section in there. And that right there is an extrude. And what that extrude does is it goes straight down. Let's add the definition so we can show this. It goes straight down from the side. It's not, uh, if you look from the straight back, it's not flush against the outside here. Uh, it's in a little bit. However, it is flush to the bottom, bottom here. I made a tangent there. Uh, what that allows you to do um, is make your rounds on the edges a little bit better. Uh, you can come down if you want a little farther. It'll just mean um, a little more complicated process later on. So once you have that, the next step is really just a mess load of rounds. Uh, you can see I started uh, with a round on the outside edge. Uh, then went to a round right here uh, from the fu in between the fuselage and the vertical face there and what that did is it brought a it brought this a little bit forward and out then my next uh, rounds here are the very corners of this I would have preferred to be a little bit larger um, however due to pro, en pro engineers uh, relative simplicity with the rounds here I mean, this is a complicated shape, but uh, just due to the nature of uh, all these curves, uh, Pro Engineer can't handle very, very complex shapes. And then my last one round here was just a round to go over everything again. And what I did to get this round was I went between the interface of the fuselage here and the horizontal part of the box there and that went and gave sort of an overarching uh, curve to everything which you can see. So this requires a lot of playing around. Um, it took me a while to figure this method out uh, just to get Pro Engineer to work with you. Uh, depending on your version and your computer uh, it'll either allow you to do more complicated or less complicated things and also the edition that you're using. Uh, right now I'm using the education edition here and I can do a lot of cool stuff if you're using the full version. I wish I had that. <laughs> you get to play around with a lot of fun things. So I hope this helped out. Uh, if you have any questions put it into the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them.